up fam this your boy cut to the chase tv be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video i got some news for you negroes today a mo3 fan just ran up on yellow beezy and almost got his ass sent to the upper room after yellow beezy rushed him with the strap and let me say this to all you mo3 fans to all you people saying i'm team mo3 don't let us bloggers get your ass whipped in real life now us bloggers we love mo3 too so we talk trash about trap boy freddy we call yellow beezy names but we do it from the internet we do it from the comfort of our own home we ain't running up on yellow beezy in public we ain't running up on trap boy freddy in public because i'm gonna be real with you guys i love mo3 i think his death was unjust i pray he get justice but i'm not willing to die for him hey i'm not even willing to take a punch for mo3 so if I see Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy Freddy in public, I ain't doing a damn thing. I'm not running up on them. I'm not looking for answers. I'm minding my damn business. And I talk crazy about both of them online, but let me see them in public. Don't expect Cut to the Chase to jump out the window. Hell no. They go Yellow Beezy, Cut. Okay, I'm looking the other way. Cut, you don't see Yellow Beezy? I see him. Pray we don't make eye contact. Because that's what type of timing I'm on. But apparently this Mo3 fan felt a different way because he spotted Yellow Beezy at the gym and he decided to run up on Yellow Beezy, cursing him out and challenging him to a fight. Now Yellow Beezy responded by pulling out a strap, sticking it in his pants and telling the Mo3 fan, swing on me. And that's when the Mo3 fan panicked. He started loud capping. He started yelling. His voice started trembling. He got the strap. He got the strap. He got the strap. And a lot of people felt that was a sucker move. Because a lot of people said, if you're going to run up on Yellow Beast, if you're going to challenge him to a fight, Yellow Beast don't have to accept your challenge. When Yellow Beast pulled out the strap, why you didn't make a move? And I agree with that. Because I look at it like this. If you're going to run up on somebody and you're going to challenge somebody, you better be ready to die for what you were run up on somebody for. Everybody ain't playing with you. Everybody ain't trying to tussle. Everybody ain't trying to roll on the damn ground. So if you challenge somebody, you run up on them, and somebody put that fire to your ass, I hope it was worth it. But anyway, guys, let's take a look at this video, and we're going to break this whole situation down, and we're going to see exactly where it went wrong and who was in the right. Let's go. Come box. How y'all do? Come on, bro. You, you see how solo? Come you see how solo? Come how box. You gotta do it. Come, over, bro. come box. That's how you gotta do come, it. Come, come box. I'm over here. Come how on. We we'll go over here right in the grass. How you I'm right here. How you so you can shoot? I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm right here. Come swing on me first. 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 I see the gun in your pocket, I see the gun in your pocket. Come swing. Now let's stop right there. The dude runs up on Yellow Beezy. He confronts Yellow Beezy. He calls him names. He challenges him to a fight, which I will admit, physical combat, mutual combat is legal in the state of Texas. If two adults agree to fight, it's legal long as nobody gets serious hurt so what the fan did was actually legal he challenged yellow busy to physical combat yellow busy armed with the strap he said you hit me first and the fan is saying no nah, man you got a weapon no nah, man i'm naked out here you strapped then what the hell you gonna run up on him for ain't nobody trying to fight bro you basically got punked out and I think it was a little clout chasing involved in this video as well. How you record yourself getting punked out and it still hit the internet. If I was the fan recording this video, soon as something like this happened, I'm deleting the video. I ain't showing a damn soul. So what you mean you got punked out by Yellow Beezy and you still decided to hit upload on the internet? Because you wanted that clout. Even if it makes you look bad. That's what it was. But let's continue. I see the Come gun swing. in your pocket, cuz. Look, got the gun Come in your pocket. Come swing, bro. Why I see the Come gun swing, in your pocket, bro. boy? Come swing. I see the gun I'm in right your here. pocket. Come swing. Why you got a gun? I'm right here. Why you got a gun? I'm right here. Come swing. Why you got a gun? I'm right here. Come you swing. I'm naked. I'm right here. Come swing. Why you, you got a gun? Me. Come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me come swing. Why you got a gun? You record me come swing. Dude, you see that he ain't gonna box nigga. a white boy because he got a gun. Swing. As soon as I swing, record, you go up it. As soon as soon as ah, you see that. This dude played the race card. He gonna say you don't want to lose to a white boy. Dude, you are a male Karen. You bothering this black man. You trying to challenge him to a combat. 
The dude ain't trying to hear none of it. So you gonna pull the race car and say, yeah, man, you don't wanna lose to a white boy. You are a male Karen. You started yelling he had a weapon. You were trying to get Yellow Beezy taken out. That's an ambush. Got the nerve to pull the white card. You fucking Karen? Ain't nothing real about this dude. Ain't nothing solid about this dude. You ran up on somebody. They was ready for you to run up on them and you wasn't ready. You started thinking about the consequences then. See, I'm going to say this about a lot of these situations. You see how humble the fan is when he know your little busy had the strap. You see how loud he was. You see how he wanted to fight Yellow Busy? The moment that Yellow Busy showed he was armed, this dude started yelling, screaming, and panicking, trying to get Yellow Busy arrested. Basically, dry snitching. That's all this was, but let's continue. Nah, 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 nah. As soon as you go up it, you scared of a white boy. You got a gun. I'm naked. You see me. You ain't naked. It's on you. I'm in your face, nigga. It's on you. If you want to swing, swing, boy. Swing. I'm going to knock your ass out. Swing. So why you got the gun? Swing, boy. So why you got the gun? Yeah, put your camera down. Swing. So why you got the gun? Put your camera down. Swing. Why you got the gun? Put your camera down and swing. Now I'm going to say this about the situation. Um, Both of these dudes are idiots. Yellow busy yelling at the top of his lungs. The fan is yelling at the top of his lungs. And it's clear that nobody really wants to do anything. And matter of fact, Yellow Busy was really the one caught lacking. Because think about it. Everybody's accusing you of playing a role in Mo3 Death. Dallas loved Mo3. He got a lot of people riding with him. He got a lot of people chanting his name. Prolonging his memory. And you mean to tell me you just in Dallas solo at the gym? Yes, you got the strap. But what if this fan would have called more people? What if the fan would have called somebody that knew somebody that knew somebody? And your life could have been ended right there. So I think Yellow Busy got to move better. He got to move smarter. Because that fan got way too close to him. You yelling, screaming, running up on the fan. What if that fan was on and blew your damn head off? That's all I'm saying. So Yellow Busy, he got to move better as well. And this fan, you just failed all the way around. Now, the fan caught backlash online. He's a laughing stock right now. So he decided to upload a video explaining his side of the situation. Let's go. I'm from the know. Little Melody. I hear people. So when I seen Yella, thought he hoed. He ran in his car. So here y'all start recording. Why are you going to go get your gun? Why why are you scared of a white boy who clearly naked out here? I'm telling Wait, wait, man. Listen. This dude is a walking stereotype. When you think of this type of dude trying to portray a gangster, Caucasian, hat to the side, mugging at the camera, and he keeps bringing race into the equation. I don't think Yellow Busy gave a damn what color you were. If anybody would have ran up on Yellow Beezy, they would have got that reaction. Hell, if I run up on Yellow Beezy, he going to do the same thing to me. He going to start clutching just like he did you. It's not the color of your skin. It's the things you were saying to him. That's all that is. So I'm not going to sit here and let you play the race car acting like Yellow Beezy did that because of the color of your skin. No, he did it because you was an idiot. You was yelling, screaming, talking about what you going to do to him. And Yellow Beezy said, all right, you feel that way? Let's go. Man, sometimes that privilege don't always work, man. That privilege can't, can't, can't take you out of ass whooping. It can help you a lot in life, but one thing it ain't gonna help is an ass whooping coming your way. That's all I'm saying. And this dude is acting like a male Karen, man. Ain't solid at all. But let's continue. You are naked out there. So what you scared of? Throw the for a cub with the f. Y'all, I don't care about none of that. Talking about, oh. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. You should have hit him more. You a police. Blah, blah, blah. But he got that gun because nobody wants to lose to a white boy. And that's the reality. You talk to a nigga that done this six years. And that ain't nothing to brag about at all. Wait a minute. This dude just called himself the N-word. Now, I know what he going to say. I get a pass in the hood where I'm from. But, dude, you talking to the internet. Once you upload something to the internet, it's some people that might take offense to it. Yes, you might got a few dumb homeboys that say, yeah, man, you can say the N-word. You a real white dude. Say the N-word. But that don't mean everybody feel that way. So when you upload this video to the internet, 
It has the potential to reach thousands of people. And some people may take offense to it. Now, let me defend this fan for one second. I know a lot of people is giving them flag. A lot of people are saying, if you want a yellow beezy so bad, why you didn't hit them? Why you didn't tackle them? I'm going to say this. It's very possible that this fan really did want to fight yellow beezy. But once he seen that yellow beezy was strapped and he wasn't, he has a right to change his mind. He has a right to yell, scream to my yellow beezy, let's go toe to toe, I want to fight. The moment he see yellow beezy got that strap in his pants, he has a right to say, damn, let me shut my ass up. Because you told something I ain't ready for. So he had to change your heart, that's what I think. We all done been there before, I done been there before. I done talked my stuff to somebody. Cursed them out, you did you that. The moment that dude pulled that strap out, I got real humble. Hey, bro, you ain't like that, bro. Oh, why you want to do that, bro, man? Nah, nah, I'm good, bro. Yeah, my fault, bro. Yeah, you right. Yeah, and yeah, you right. I'm going to go ahead and go, bro. We all done been there. We all done did that. If you ever been part of the streets, if you ever been on them, you know once somebody shows they clutching, you got to retreat. You got to back the hell up. If you want to live to tell another a day, you want to live another day. That's all I'm saying. But let's continue. That's nothing to brag about. But but I seen how. Oh, don't nobody want to lose to a white boy? Well, I'm undefeated out this hoe. Ask about me any G4, G5 unit, any TDC unit. Boy, ask about me. I don't give. I'm talking about y'all ain't no stipples. Y'all ain't y'all just internet. They yeah, so that's the Mo3 fan who ran up on Yellow Beezy and got punked out, got embarrassed, and still decided to upload this video. Now, some people are saying he's a rapper. Some people are saying he's a crip from Dallas. But I'm looking at this situation. This don't make you look good, bro. This make you look real bad. So I'm starting to think, why did you upload this video? You want the clout? Maybe you want some interviews? I bet the more videos he upload talking about this situation, watch he start plugging in his music. Hey, y'all check me out here. Yeah, you know I'm a rapper. He finna get a Vlad TV interview. He finna get a No Jumper interview. He finna get a Real Life Street Stars interview. He finna be everywhere. He finna be known as the dude who ran up on Yellow Beezy and got punked. Out now, I will say this about Yellow Beezy. I don't really care for the guy, but I think he handled himself well. I think Yellow Beezy basically did what he had to do. You're a famous rapper, you got a lot at stake, you got to take care of your family, everybody depending on you. You can't lose your life to senseless violence. So, if somebody poses a threat, you got to terminate that threat, even if you got to use excessive force. That's all I'm saying. So Yellow Beezy seemed like he was willing, he was willing to stand on business behind him. But the Mo3 fan didn't really seem like it. So Yellow Beezy won, Mo3 fan zero. Maybe they'll meet up again. Maybe he'll get that toe-to-toe -to -toe combat he wanted. But man, I think Yellow Beezy was gonna take him either way it go. I'm just being real with you. I think if these two guys did mutual, mutual combat, duped it out, I'll put my money on Yellow Beezy. Yellow Beezy look faster, looking more athletic, you know, the, the dude that's trying to fight Yellow Beezy, he can't even walk in a damn straight line, don't look like, he look uncoordinated like a motherfucker, don't he? This nigga can't even count and tie his shoe at the same time, but he gonna run up on Yellow Beezy. That's what I don't understand, man. <laughs> dude ain't got an athletic bone in his body, ain't gonna try to fight somebody. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts about this whole situation. Share this video, let me know what you guys think. I love you guys. Peace.